Question 35, the last question on the test. All right, so we have an ideal massless spring fixed to a wall. It's going back and forth. Uh, question is, what's the spring constant? We know the amplitude, we know the maximum velocity, and uh, this is just conservation of mechanical energy. In other words, the total mechanical energy initial is equal to the total mechanical energy final. So we'll take our initial point at equilibrium position where it has its maximum kinetic energy and it has zero elastic potential energy. And then our final position we'll put at uh, amplitude where it has zero velocity and all its energy is elastic potential energy. Substituting in our equations, we have one half times the mass times the velocity initial squared is equal to one half times the spring constant times the displacement from equilibrium position final squared. You can see we can cancel out one half from both sides. We can substitute in the maximum velocity for the initial velocity and the amplitude for the displacement, final displacement from equilibrium position, or the maximum displacement from equilibrium position, the amplitude. And we get that the spring constant is equal to mass times the velocity maximum squared divided by the amplitude squared. The correct answer is D. Those are my solutions to the multiple choice portion of the mechanics AP Physics C 1998 release exam. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you. That's it. That's all I got.